Hello, friends. It's good to see you, and hope that you all feel happy and feel joyous and healthy. Um, let's start it today. I would like to see how the spring let you feel that your body is on this earth, just like a house on this earth that you sit it on. So let's start it just by close your eyes. Let me invite you. Just do with me. Sit comfortable. Any way is comfortable for you. It's more important than try to get fancy. That's about the yoga. That's no competition. And just like when you build a house, you want the house just be your choice, your choice. So when you sit, just sit that you feel most comfortable. Now, with your eyes closed. And just imagine your body, like this house you live in. Your body, just like your house. In the spring, then you can sense that you open your window. You may open one or maybe open more than one windows. A sense when you invite that air, you invite for the outside that you open your heart and invite what is surrounding you. Invite that you into you, into your house. And then maybe you feel just like a friend. They came to your house. You feel you meet them the first time when you breathe in. In the sense that you meet this friend the first time. How that feel? How you sense maybe your breathing is more your belly, but you sense more sensitive of the breath around your chest, around your nostril, or maybe the top. Just different part of the house you may feel more call your own place. And then also you feel more important in this house you sit in. Feel like connecting with the earth. Feel connecting with the, this foundation you sit in on. So feel not only one and the others, feel this solid, steady, the foundation you're sitting in now. And that's your body. Feel balance, feel harmony in this body. And sense that breath. Feel the breath more evenly. Feel soothing. It's your body. It's your house. Your breath. And the sensation, we invite them in, into all parts of your body. We know in this house, everything is connected. They're all connected as the oneness we call the house. They call this body. And this body, what's inside the body, like your mind, your spirit, this is all as the oneness. So we will sit here just for you a few minutes. Just be aware of your breath. Just recognize. There's no judge how good or bad. It's just a way. Recognize and accept. To accept. And to love. Giving the love. Giving the attention. See how you can grow in. And appreciate this body. This house, that you feel your sit bone, connect to the earth, connect to your mat. And sense each breath drawing in your energies, or turning your go qi, the qi, or the prana, yama, of each breath you breathe in, draw it into you, and you also let it go. But you don't need that. Just feel the flow in and out. And when you sense that, you feel the joy, you feel the happiness. You feel in all part of your body. Breathe into your nostrils, close your mouth. And let inside your mouth relax. 
relax your tongue, relax your jaw. So the flow is more smooth and even more and more smooth each longer you sit and you feel the whole body lengthening. Just like how to be low is better, you live longer and you really start to feel more connected, it's more appreciate. Yeah. Then when you're ready, so then you are coming up in the standing pose. And we're practicing this is a Udiyama Banyan. So what you inhale is you're coming up into your tons of Georgia arms over your head. Then you exhale, just feel through your core. Your stomach lock. So when you're ready, just slight bend your knees and then rest your hand just on top of your knees. Keep the arms straight and feel just lock into your stomach. Draw the in, release, release. Then tuck your chin into your throat. And feel lock your stomach, let it go. Then inhale, draw your arms up, breathe in. Exhale into Samadhi, rest. On the next round, we'll stay in the stomach lock, the Uriyama, a little bit longer, okay? but no breath in, just stay exhaling. Okay? So inhale into your Tadasana, exhale, let go. Very good. Lock in the stomach. Then come up when you're ready, breathe in. Separate yourself. Where is somebody here? So you inhale into your Tadasana. Exhaling. You see, it's that way that you feel just like that go into your stomach. Keep the arms straight. You have to join the arms over your head in Tadasana. Exhale, let go. On this round, just on your own. Okay. So you inhale into Tadasana. Exhale into stomach lock. And come up when you're ready. Exhale, let go. Now, as you feel this foundation of your house that is through your toes to your feet, feel that coming up into the crown of your head. So, when you're ready, draw the arms over your head into Tarasana. Turn the palm facing up. Feel the lengthening through the whole side of your body. Tuck your chin in. So, through the whole body, lengthening. Then, exhaling, let go. And we're breaking it side by side. Okay, so inhale, you draw the right arms over your head. Keep your right palm just facing up to your ceiling, like you're holding the sky. Then the left hand point down to feel you connect to earth. So you are here is control between heaven and earth. And the longer and the more you practice, you can feel your right arm will just rest by side of your in between. You may not get that there. That's all fine. But feel it. You are here is each breath, you connecting, so it's like a kind of door between heaven and earth, feel the flow. Earth and heaven, the earth and heaven. Exhale, let that go this time. Okay. So change the side, inhale, bring the left arms up, like holding the sky, through the foundation, root it, ground it, root it down, and continue using the right hand. Point down, connect to earth. You can feel the flow, the energy rise here as you are flowing as you come to wall. But I have an earth. Exhale, let go. Okay. So one more run on each side on your own. So breathe in. And breathe your side. Change your side. Breathe in. Heaven and earth as you chi, your energy flow. Exhale, let go. Okay. And when you're ready, this time, just draw to bend your knees and just let your belly lock, lock. Keep the whole upper body straight so you can just 
Bad your whole chest, rest on top of your thighs and hug in and let it go and let it go. This lock will release your hip out of the sky. Then slowly open the back of your knees. You might not straight, just keep the, keep the knees bent, but support your low back with your thighs. So your chest and your thighs get really close. And just let it naturally flow. Give the tenderness, give the love to this house, this body. Then it's ready, come on, release your hands. And just lay around yourself. Really rolling one bullet ball by one bullet ball. Slowly roll yourself coming out. Good. Now we do the whole sound salutation here. So rest your hands back on your heart. You can come out into your parasana or mountain pose. Exhale in standing full for leg go. Breathe this out. You can come out halfway. Let's say your spine, straight your spine. Really feel the right moment open, right on the top of your hip. Good. Then prepare for the lunge pose. Bring the right into your back. Breathe in, come out into a lunge pose. As you do in to the heaven earth, feel that pelvis as you are down to earth. Draw your arms up, relax your shoulder. Excellent, leaning forward. Rest your hand by side your feet. And bring the left leg to your back. And keep the left toes and keep the toes point down. So shoulders about your wrist and looking forward. And inhale and so draw your knees off the mat. Or you feel com more comfortable, keep the knees on the mat. Let's just draw your chest forward, draw your chest forward, roll the shoulder to your back. So either knees on the mat or bring the knees off the mat. Then feel in the plank. That openness in your chest forward. Looking into the third eye, looking in the middle of your forehead. Then exhale, lower your knees into your mat. Load your elbow, point towards your knees, and then rise your chest, then your chin into your mat. Then lock your stomach, just let your hip release into the sky. Let it go, let it go. Then inhale, rest your whole belly, your in, uh, rest on your belly, breathing and draw your chest up, and then draw your shoulder toward your back into cobra pose. Exhale, so you rest your hands back under your shoulder, turn your toes underneath, and feel yourself come out in all four, and your hands, your knees. Then so draw your chest toward your thighs and look between your legs. And we kind of slowly just open the back of your legs. So you lower the right heel down to the left knee bend. As your chest, try to reach to your thighs. And like we did in the last time, you can feel it. just let your crown your head, release toward your mat, relaxing to your shoulder. And like your mind's going side to side, and continue to relax your hip. Keep that releasing, so relax. The openness is not by force, like when we try to, to make a change, we don't try to force it, but we try to just be ready to be moved. See how they reflect when we let it go and let it pan on us, like you really slowly. And get a candle to the back of your knees and let us slowly to all hands with the heels to be lowering down to your mat and release your hip in the sky. Then you ready to so lower your knees, both your knees into your mat. And then bring your right foot between your hands. Breathe in, come out into lounge pose, draw your arms over your head. Excellent, so leaning forward. And then bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Raise your side, standing forward, forward. Inner coming out into tennis and arms over your head. Exhale, raise the hands back on your heart. Good. Again, now draw the arms over your head. We do the other side. Raise your hands, exhale, in forward, forward. Inner come out halfway. Exhale, bring the left leg to your back. 
breathing, come on into a lunge pose. Relaxing your shoulders down. Relax your tailbone, point down. And leaning forward, brace yourself. Hands by side to your right foot, and bring them right up to your back. Prepare for the plank. Inhale and draw your knees off the mat. Would you keep the knees on the mat? Just can you lengthen your hold, your chest forward, lengthen your spine. You relax your heel to the back. You feel a little bit tight and squeeze around your hip. Exhale to load your knees into your mat. And then holding your, el your elbow down to your mat. To reload your chest and then load your chins into your mat. Relax your hip. Get ready, come out into your cobra. Breathe in. Just let your chest come in. Lengthen. Draw your chest forward and roll your shoulders your back. Exhale, so let it go. And inhale, come out into all four and hand your knee. And bring the left foot between your hands. Breathing, come out into your lounge pose. Exhale, into full forward. Bring the right foot to meet your left foot. Breathe this out into standing full forward. Be ready to come out, inhale, come out into your mountain pose. Exhale, hands back on your heart. Do you feel your core right here as you lock your stomach? Let it go and feel the edge. Halfway down, coming to earth, halfway up to feel a reach up around your head. Then through this, we do the moon saltation. Okay. So breathing into your tallest and arms over your head, then feel reach up high, but your feet plant really down. Plant your feet down to your mat. Keep the knees facing to the front, facing to your toes. Then exhale and lean to the side way. You feel just from the top, you feel the, ah, oh, let it go. In a half moon sh shape, like a willow tree in the wind. So inhale, coming back to center. Exhaling, just let it release to the other side. And softens the whole movement, soften. This is a, a moon, the more softness of the yang. Energy, so feel the moving in the wind, soft, slowly, smooth. So make it not the jerky, but you feel that your breathing really smooth and moving in and out. Just like water, yes, yeah, the element. And ready, coming back. Then bring your hands back on your heart and draw your legs open. Point the toes to the side. And just breathe and draw your arms up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, so just let go and let go, release, release. Like a goddess, so feel the smooth and let them release into gravity. Then inhale, coming up. Keep the chin tucking slightly, so you need to feel the whole alignment. Then exhale, and just simply let it go, release. And relax, relax the whole. Shoulder and relax into the gravity. Last round, inhale, draw your arms up. Then exhaling, ah. Oh. And stay here. Turn your right foot about 90 degree. I'm about 35 degree. The left toes point to the end of your mat. Okay. And just slowly straight your left leg. And then lean over to your left. Just slowly light as a just lean like water, falling, falling down. Let it go. And everyone will be different angle. How far you go, it's make yourself feel comfortable with the moving soft slowly. Okay. And you can feel more lengthening. Draw the arms up over your head. And bring that back. And just slowly bend your left knee. I will turn side to side. So you may go to yourself going downward and then change your side. You feel a bunch and you bring your toes up. We can just stay right here, moving from the side to the other side. Feel the movement of the water moving slowly, moving just sh shifting smooth. So you may shifting smooth, slowly, 
you can as comfortable for you don't have to go all the way down it's your body is different than others so respect and honor your body this house you are no, no force you have niggas as viewers so when you're ready so bring yourself coming back to center Embrace it, draw the arms over your head. Exhale, put your hands back on your heart. And bring your toes in, bring your heels in, bring your toes in, bring your heels in. Toes in here. And back. You know, draw your arms over your head. Exhale, put your hands back on your heart. And feel how grounded and rooted down. So then we do the other side. So inhale, draw your arms over your head. Then Exhaling, so you lean to the side and over to the other side. Feel the softness of the moment. Like you feel it's almost effortless. Like you're dancing, follow the flow of the dance, just smoothly moving side to side. And it's smooth and easy for you. As you can. Feel your whole, your own body just in that moment. In that shifting of the side to the side. It's ready. Bring your hands back on your heart. And on this round, we'll do in and out. X breathing will be opposite than we did the last round. So bring the legs out to the side. Point your toes to the end of your mat. And then cross your elbows. So we do the inhale on your squat down. So feel the breathing like you inhaling and feel the, the gravity. Draw the table point down and then reach your hand toward this heaven. Your arms up. And your gravity, draw your table point down and exhale. All points on your side and straight your legs. And then change your arms. What was on the top that moves to the bottom? So breathe in. And you draw your arms up. So you squat down. Have your chin in. Exhale and let go. Good. One more round each side. Inhale. And exhale. And change. Breathe in. And exhale. Okay. And then turn the left foot to about 30, 35 degree. Right foot to point to the end of your mat. And just sort of folding, just relax your hip over to the left like you did in the willow pose. And just let your right hand rest on any part of your right leg that's comfortable for you. And folding down. And you feel just release, release like a waterfall and falling. Then he release. And when the left arms over you have you like you're looking up to the ceiling. And so bring your left arms up when you're ready. And so we bend your right knee. And curl from the side to side. The moving from the side to side. And again, you can always feel you can just let yourself go a little bit more. Coming down to the other side. I feel the water moving, moving side to side, shifting and moving from the side to the side. And you can do this just about this high and feel moving through the, your ankles and feel the back, your legs. Like keep the whole body just as straight as comfortable for you. Just stay on your core right here in the center. Okay. Then you're ready coming back. Point your toes in, point your heels in, point your toes in, point your heels in, point your toes and point your heels in. Inhale, draw your arms over your head. Exhale and raise your hands back on your heart. We just let yourself slowly squat down and squat down. Then you're ready, just using the elbows to open your knees. 
the spine straight and exhale so just Ride your hands on top of your ankles and just slowly let yourself come and sit him down. Okay. Once you sit on the key of the soldier feet, first you keep the soldier feet as close as comfortable, then you can move it out so almost like a diamond shape. Or you can bring really close to your city bones, whichever you feel more steady. Now open your hip, open your foundation. Okay. So when you're ready, so you draw your right foot coming up. You try to bring the foot facing to your chest. So you just ride side to side. And then so you bring the feet facing to your face and coming up. A little bit higher. Now when you're ready, so you lower the right foot down on top of your left leg. Now keep the right foot facing up into the ceiling so your run can lower it down to your mat, close to your mat. Now I'm using your left, you can use the left hand or you can use the right hand from behind for the, your right toe. So keep the right foot up to the ceiling with your hand. And when the left hand outside your right knee, slowly twist over to your right. And inhale, so coming back, looking forward. Now we change the side. Bring the right foot back, and uh, bring the left foot up. Turn the left foot face to your chest. And just relax side to side. Now when you're ready, so we lower the left foot on top of your right leg. Any part that is easy for you. Try to keep that left foot facing up into the ceiling, facing to your chest. So again, you can use the right hand toward your left toe, or using the left hand from behind and open the left foot facing up into the ceiling. And bring the right hand outside your left knee, because this is the lot in your stomach, so you feel the movement will be advanced just on top of your hip. So sort of twist over to your left. Let this organs in this or waking up and make your function more healthy. And this is a good practice thing to when you feel stress, feel anxiety, or even feel worry. It's time to let this kidney function to more function well um that will help let us view this real power those elements the earth the elements of the waters and now you wait when you start from that now for if you like to do the full lotus pose on this pose you can just bring the hands to hold on both right and the left Foot and keep the foot facing up. Okay. Now you can just put the hands behind your back. Okay. Or you can just hold your elbows and feel that openness into your chest. So you want sitting down and draw your chest forward. And just feel rich, rich your chest forward and openness. Like those windows you open in the beginning of the class today. Open the windows in this house, open your heart. And feel like you invite this freshness into you, the new energies and feel new to yourself. And that is all the one or what you don't need it. Feel just let it release out from your body or from your mind. Just can relax your shoulder, tuck your chin to you. Then you ready so release your hands. Open your legs out to your side. Okay. And you can use the hand behind your, your sit bone. So draw your sit bone more wider and keep that really sit into your mat. And let the back your legs rest onto your mat. So just walk your hands forward. And you can just rest on your elbow. 
or you can set with your your block 